you and welcome to another video in this video we are going to create this um, cannon example uh, you can shoot cannon bars yay I can also increase the power of the cannon so I can shoot further away super fast and super low okay so let's open the example file you can find this under the description below uh, when you open the file you are going to find there a, a vertical bar counter um, a physics engine which you can easily access by right clicking and inserting it uh, the cannonball is a regular uh, physics object or physics bouncing ball uh, this here is going to be our target and uh, this here is a regular static object okay the barrel um, of the cannon is a separate piece from the cannon base okay and the uh, barrel is a uh, static physics object and the uh, base is a regular static object okay this might as well be a, a background okay all right, so let's uh, get started. All right, so let's uh, go to the uh, event editor. Let's create an always. And um, we're going to have our barrel always look in direction of uh, the target. Okay, you can see that uh, now the barrel is pointing at the target. If I place it down here, the cannon is pointing in, in this direction. So if I um, set the position of the uh, of the target equals the position of the uh, mouse x and y coordinates, you can see that I can move the uh, the cannon. Let's make the cannon shoot cannonballs. Um, if the user clicks or taps on the screen, same thing. We are going to uh, create a new object, okay, relative to the position of the uh, cannon barrel, and uh, we're going to use the action point, okay, and the orientation. Uh, I'm going to change it as well. We're also in the same line. We're going to make our cannon ball look in direction of the target which we can we control with the mouse let's try this out and you can see that this works except for um looks like i have to move the uh, cannonballs um, a bit to the center and that works fine okay so let's uh, change the strength of the shots equals this counter okay now it's set to 40 uh, I'm gonna go to movement set speed equals uh, this counter Let's try it out You can see that this works fine If I went to uh, the counter and I changed it to say 80 You can see that uh, this doubles the power Going to set it to 40 back again, and uh, we're going to use the um, the mouse, uh, the wheel. When it goes up, we're going to add five to the counter, and when we scroll down with the uh, mouse wheel, uh, we're going to decrease the counter by five. Straight out. I think I did that backwards. This has to be subtract. Okay, it's going up. Lower. And you can see that this works fine. 
Now this is one of the videos you will find in my new Udemy course. Well, not this one, but something similar to this. Um, a lot of these videos always end up on my YouTube channel, but uh, it's always nice to have them all organized into a course. Now the uh, course is not ready yet. It will be available soon. Okay, so that's the latest update on my Udemy course. All right, thanks for watching.